So I'm getting ready to make us a homestead Christmas morning breakfast. Good friends brought this fresh from their oven last night. Came dressed in their elf hats and they look so cute. Loved it. And it's a nice bread. They brought us some cheese. We're going to have some good cheese with it. They brought a bag of goodies that we've already been enjoying. I've got my farm fresh eggs. I've got a little bit of ham over in that foil. And I'm going to make us an oven egg dish to cook in our little wood cook stove over here. And that's going to be part of Cowboy and I's breakfast. Along with some of my mom's fruit cake. I think our eggs are done. Ready to cut, slice. Cowboy and I'll have us a late brunch. Cowboy and I are taking a Christmas day walk. Roll. A little stroll. <laughs> Up to check the horse's hay. It's a beautiful day in Montana. And what's that? No snow, no snow. But I told him if I went walking, he had to go slow. And he's already 20 feet in front of me. Because we're going uphill. <laughs> and this old girl is out of shape. What? This is where he saw mountain lion tracks. We're just on the back side of our house. And when this snow fell that you see, pretty much gone, he saw mountain lion tracks. We're going to see if we can still see some. Hopefully he was passing through. If you hear the old girl huffing and puffing in the background, you know who it is. We didn't even get out this year to cut um, branches to make a wreath. Right there. Not showing as good as it was. It's melted down. There, what's that one right there? Is that a, no, it's melted in. Pretty hard to tell now. We had one of our fawns uh, from the twins he found laying dead up in the trees. Mama Doe hasn't been around lately. Yeah. We had a good breakfast. We ate our eggs. We ate our gift of our bread wreath and our cheese and played three games of crib. I only won one, but we're having a good homestead Christmas. Cowboy's got a good pile of green wood cut ready to dry. This will be for our future fires. Got a good pile. He uses his excavator. And he holds it up, a log up, and he slices it. And we'll have wood soon. <laughs> Cowboy said this pile's got to last us till spring. This was done last summer. Last a year ago, I guess. 
There's another slash pile up there. Too close to the trees though to burn. I can yeah, I can see the cows. This is what's left of our little cow herd on the homestead. There's my girls. There's Millie and Maggie, Molly. That one right there is Annabelle, or no, excuse me, Easter Bell. Annabelle is her mama. She's over by the black cow. This is our old girl, Annabelle. She was bottle fed. And she's getting older, isn't she? Um, she's got to be getting nine. Nine years old. She loves it. Yeah, she does. Quite a while ago. No, you be nice. She's all... It's all the cows we have left. Smallest herd we've ever had. What do you think, Jim? Huh? Jim's the mama to the little guy. Been a while since he's been played with again. There he goes. Yep. yep. They've got a beautiful Christmas day for weather. And here comes Rough Rider in, this cowboy's old saddle horse. Panels are kind of tipped over. My cows are behind me pushing on me. If I jump, that's why. <laughs> They're too friendly. Love all of our Jersey girls. This is a little guy. He's out of Maggie. And he will get to stick around for a while and be a breeding bull for a while. Jam, you're such a big girl. Or no, that you're not. Are you Jam? No, you're not Jam. You are Frankie. Hi, Frankie. Frankie's going to have a baby. I have to really look at him. See who's who. <laughs> Frankie's going to have a baby in the spring. As well as our mayor of our team. Her name is Rose. And she's behind the gilding. The, the, the one on the right is Cracker Jack, and then the mare is in the middle. Here. Now baby's remembering. Cowboy. It's been a while. With all the holidays and everything going on and building the shop, he hasn't got to play with his stud colt for a while. Yeah. I think we'll probably end up keeping him around too. And over there, where you see the donkey, that's my Jack, the daddy. We'll be, be bringing Delilah and Patches back up to him probably in February, I'm thinking. Come here, Molly. Oh, it's slippery, isn't it? I've been watching my step, too. Hi, Molly. Molly's just a little 
heifer. She will have her first baby <laughs> next summer or next later spring. She's pretty tiny. Jersey girl. She's our has been our main cow till we got these little three miniatures. There's Maggie. Maggie's our main milk cow right now when we need milk. But she's just out on pasture now for the winter. But if we needed milk, we could get her in. That's her baby there. So we could get Maggie in if we needed her milk. Hi, Molly. This is my littlest little cow. She will have a baby in the summer. Yeah, I think they got a little ahead. We're headed back. And the cows are going to follow us. This little fenced-in garden was just for our potatoes last year. And hopefully, Lord willing, we'll be able to grow a bunch more next year. We're almost back to the house. You can see the roof of Cowboy's new shop. And I sure hope the gate is shut because all our cows are going down to check it out to see. We really don't want to have to chase cows on Christmas Day. But this is our backyard. All these big boulders, pretty cool. Yep, they headed down to the gate just to check. If you got cows, you know what I mean. They thought maybe the possibility of that gate being left open. Well, it's been a fun walk. It's getting a little cool on my legs. I can feel my ears are a little cool. And I'm sure our wood stove is still burning, so we'll throw another log on. And have a cup of hot coffee by it and be thankful for what we just were able to do gonna go in and check on cowboy's shop see what he's been doing in here might be a little dark a little bit dark he has all of this insulated, this long wall, it's 50 foot. This is 40 foot wide. This one's long, all done. And he's got that one halfway or three quarters of the way insulated. Right, if it starts predicting, he says, we better get ready to split wood. Our trailer, that we had full a while back is going to be empty. So you know what Cowboy and Prairie Girl are going to be doing one of these days soon. <laughs> 